嘿、hey, ，大家好，我是你们最爱的美国朋友小马。大家今天我看到了一个文章，让我有点伤心，或是我应该说，我为你们中国人感到有点伤心。啊，我给你们读一下，因为我想让你们得知道你们的国家落败到哪里了。OK， 那么我们看一下。OK，Report:、okay. Chinese third graders falling behind. U.S. high school students in math and science. Uh-oh. According to an alarming new report published Wednesday by the International Association for the Evaluation of Educational Achievement, third graders in China are beginning to lag behind U.S. high school students in math and science. It's a majuma rua. The study, based on exam scores from thousands of students in 63 participating countries, confirmed. That in mathematical and scientific literacy, American students from the ages of 14 to 18 have now actually pulled slightly ahead of their eight-year-old Chinese counterparts. Duo Bei Shang. Oh my God, this is certainly a wake-up call for China," said Dr. Michael Fornasier, an IEA senior fellow and co-author of the report. The test results unfortunately indicate that、um, education standards in China have slipped to the extent that preteens are struggling to rank among even the average American high school students. Simply put, how can these third graders be expected to eventually compete in the global marketplace if they're only receiving the equivalent of a U.S. high school education? Chin Kuang Bu Le Guan. Fornasier stressed that while the gap is not yet dramatically sizable, it has widened over the past two years after American high schoolers tested marginally higher in algebra, biology, and chemistry than, shockingly, most of China's eight and nine-year-olds. For decades, young children in China have scored at the expected level of their peers in American high schools, so this is a very worrying drop in performance," said Fornasier, adding. That the majority of Chinese third graders are now a full year behind the average U.S. twelfth grader in their knowledge of calculus. In the chemistry portion of the exam, for example, Chinese children proved to be slightly deficient compared to American teenagers in their understanding of the periodic table, molecular structure, and the essential principles of atomic theory. And even when they did test at the same level in mathematics, it often took Chinese elementary school students 10 to 15 minutes longer to do simple things, juma chi ben de shuqing, like factor a polynomial equation or compute the derivative of a continuous function. That just isn't normal. Juma chi ben de shuqing. In light of the alarming study. Many in China have called for considerable reforms of the country's education system, including implementing far stricter standards for teachers, investing in better learning materials, and increasing the length of school days. Our third-grade classes clearly cannot afford to lag behind American high schools if they are to be successful in the future," read an official statement from China's Minister of Education, Yang Guiren. Frankly, the scores are unacceptable. And we have to turn this around immediately. If there's an American 17-year-old who can do something academically that a Chinese 8-year-old can't, that's a very big problem. At this rate, how do we expect our Chinese 13-year-olds to be ready for American colleges? Yuan continued. 对不起大家，我知道可能你们刚才听我讲这些文章的事情，讲到的事情。你们可能心里就觉得有点不舒服，不过这些事实嘛，事实本来就是有一些很难听的嘛，所以我必须得给你们读一读一遍。好了，无论如何，我希望大家都喜欢我这次视频，非常希望你们都可以关注一下我这个 YouTube 哔哩哔哩微博，我会继续为你们做一些这种中美文化差异的事情。对。我们的国家由此可见可以互相学习，对不对 ？OK， 好了，那么下次见吧，拜拜。OK， 对了，如果
如果不明显的话，这个文章完全是在，不是这个不是真正的新闻，是完全是在讽刺我们美国的高中生，不是真的。OK， 那么，不过我还是希望你们可以关注一下。<笑> OK， 拜拜。